<laughs> this is where it gets a little emotional. Um, you know, everybody who's ever been there for me, believed in me, supported me, doubted me even. I'm so grateful for it all, for this journey, and just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I couldn't have dreamed this up. <laughs> I definitely couldn't have dreamed this up. The fight game is pretty brutal and you see many, many fighters, they're forced to retire because, because their body quits or they stay in it for too long. I, I wanted to finish at my peak. Fighting retires fighters. I wanted to retire from fighting. I started martial arts when I was eight years old with karate. 16, 17, I started learning Muay Thai. I had my first Muay Thai fight when I was 18. I thought it was just going to be a hobby, something I wanted to tick off my bucket list just to say that I, I did it. And that became a professional career. And from then on, the journey just, just took off. When I won the title for the first time, for me that was like a dream come true. Because for any athlete, you know, you watch movies and they win the big match or, you know, they work so hard. And it's like the, the happy ending, you know, and for me, I, I had that, the ultimate prize, right? The first ever uh, Glory Women's World Champion. A very pivotal, important moment in my journey. From the first time that I lost the belt to Mexican, I decided that I never wanted to lose again. And since then, I haven't. And I'm gonna stick to that plan. So on September 9th in Paris, you know, I'm expecting to be the best me that I've ever been. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great night for me. Someone's gonna be on their back and it's not gonna be me. I never planned to be a professional fighter. When it happened, then I planned that if I'm doing this, I, I wanna be the best at it. I couldn't have imagined that it would've gone this way, the places that I've ended up and the things that I've done, and I'm pleased with it.